ladies at home leave the lights on all day and all night. So what I like to do is just tape it up. Now, you know you're breaking the rules. As Houston residents, Marlon Thomas and his family face some of the highest electricity bills in the country. So to cut costs, this husband and father of two sets strict rules on household energy use. My dad wants to save money just like anybody else, but he just goes to an extreme doing it. At 9 o'clock, I shut down the breakers because these guys like to leave the TV on, the radio, the stereo, and by me shutting the breaker off, I'm roughly saving about $100 a month on the electric bill. Around here is just a rule. I mean, if they don't like it, they don't like it. I'm paying the bills around here, so, hey, it's 9 o'clock. It's time for the breaker to go off. I feel like I'm going crazy because I don't know anyone in America that is doing that. My dad is an extreme penny pincher. It's kind of like fighting the cookie monster for a cookie. Like, can I get a little bit? By enforcing strict rules in his house, Marlon keeps utility costs to a minimum. But it's his job at the firehouse where he finds real savings. Marlon is the cheapest person that I've ever met in my life. He does a lot of stuff that I would do at home here at the station. The dishwasher is half empty again. I bring my own dishes because this is just a waste. Why wash half a load when you can wash a full load? Tuesday, we have to clean out the refrigerator. So guys leave food in here all the time. So what I do, instead of buying dinner, I take this home. Oh, one more day. It's good. If I don't clean out the refrigerator, people are gonna let perfectly good food go to waste. Well, it tastes better today. By stockpiling free firehouse leftovers, Marlon saves over $400 a month. I do not like to eat leftovers from the fire station. I love all the guys at the fire station, but I don't really know who's cooking the food. This is Michelle. It's time to eat. Let's go, guys. We don't even cook the food. We just have leftovers and leftovers, and who lives off of leftovers? I have gotten sick at least three times from food he's brought home from the fire station. Like it was coming from both ends, very, very sick. Must be pretty good, nobody's talking. I admire the fact that he wants to save money, but sometimes he just takes it overboard. My youngest daughter, Essence, has a special birthday coming up. We would like to give her a nice party and let her enjoy being 16. So you have the venue, the food, the DJ, and decorations. We need decorations. And a gift on top of that? Sweet 16 only comes once. I think we can splurge just a little on our sweet 16th birthday party. <sighs> I want to have a party at the firehouse. No, we always do something, pretty much the same thing every year at the firehouse. We want to do something different this year. I would want to go to a place with loud music, Food, where my friends can just dance and have a fun time. We're, we're on a budget. Okay. okay. Essence, you're going to have to understand that we're on a budget. We're almost here, guys. Essence has a sweet 16th birthday about to come up. And I've searched all over Houston to find a venue that was in my budget. Oh, hell no, Marlon. Let's get out and check it out, guys. No. We got a good deal on this place. Absolutely Gold diggers. Not. What does that this mean? Was the thing Essence. Right here. This is a strip bar. It's not open. No, you have my birthday at a strip club. I have friends that's coming in dresses and stuff. No. Let's Marlon. check it out. No. Don't knock it till you try. Whoa. It okay. smells. It's ridiculous and it's inappropriate. It just was not what I thought Marlon would do for a venue. I'm turning 16 and we're at a strip club. It's okay. During the day, there's not going to be Marlon. any strippers. Marlon, no. I do have some reservations about having Essence party at a strip club, but they had everything they wanted, and the price was right. This is unacceptable. This is a strip club. She's having a Sweet 16 birthday party. Sweet 16, girl, right here in the red. Ew. Velvet? 
velvet. I don't want my friends to talk about me. And they're going to talk about me if they come up in here looking like this. They're not going to even know. There's a pole right there. What you mean? The pole will have decorations. They're not going to even see it. You can smell it in the air. No, you can't club. smell it. There's lots of other venues we could have tried. I'm pretty sure of it. I've tried them. I've tried them. Other places were like $1,000. And that's more than our whole budget. These guys are going to give it to me for a couple of hundred dollars. Marlon, this is going above and beyond your cheapness. This has to everything you ask for. A dance floor, place to sit. You have a great DJ booth over there. It's going to be awesome. Just give it a chance. It was kind of surprising somebody would actually want to host a Sweet 16 party here. Kind of different. Thought, what the heck. I know this is a strip club, but let's look at it this way. What you're getting is a great deal because we're not open during the daytime. I understand there's a pole in there, but what regular club don't have a pole? The place is going to be all yours. Nobody has to really know that it's a strip club. See, that sounds great. <laughs> this will go down in history books as one of his cheapest moments in the history in our family. While the venue may be one of Marlon's most extreme cost-saving measures, it doesn't mean he's willing to splurge in other areas. Hey, what are you doing? I'm going to get us to Essence for her 16th birthday. Oh, God. She's not going to want this. I'm telling you that right now. I don't want to give Essence a new car because I can save a lot of money by just giving her my 1995 sedan. Essence is embarrassed when you drop her off at school in this. She's definitely not going to want to drive this. That was before the paint job, baby. This is the hottest thing, matte black. Paint job? Yes. Marlon, please. Just like new, baby, just like new. Oh, my gosh. After spending just $250 for the party essentials, Marlon has managed to come in under budget for one of the least expensive Sweet 16 birthdays ever. I can't believe my dad even booked this venue. My sister, I think she's glad that her friends are here, but at the same time, it's just like, I know she's embarrassed because I'm embarrassed for her. I think the party is a blast. People having fun, got good food, good music. The guys did a wonderful job decorating. It saved me a lot of money. I have had some of my friends give me that look, like, why are we at a ship club? But so far, I really don't care. Happy birthday, Do you see the pole? I mean, there's a, there's a pole in a sweet 16 birthday party. Surprise! I don't know if I will ever change my cheapskate ways. Come on, let's go for it. Again. You have a fresh new paint job? I think Marlon could change if God came down and told him to. He would change. <laughs> Most of your friends don't even have a car. It's going to be tough road for the Lord. It'll be tough. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs>